Josh Jacobs. You reported that he was obviously there at mandatory minicamp and during OTAs, but he wasn't actually on the field. He was actually in the facility. Should we be concerned with Josh Jacobs heading into a contract year? And what's the status with him? I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly what was going on, right? Okay. Um, you know, just, just so everybody understands at this time of year, there's no game. Um, so no, you know, next week or in a couple of days, uh, teams aren't obligated to explain every injury, every whatever is going on uh, with somebody uh, that's not on the field. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so you're right. not going to get that kind of information. And I right. get it. I totally understand. And I, I honestly uh, respect it. Um, the way it's been described to me is it's, it's, it's nothing to be, it's nothing serious. It's nothing to be overly worried about whatsoever. Okay. Okay. I frankly think with Josh, um, and, and remember last year, I think if I remember correctly, he was on the field last year during OTAs uh, either. Uh, and mm -hmm. I think even during the season, there was there was a plan in place for his you know practice usage and things like that. Obviously, there's probably a physical element to that. Mm -hmm. There's something physical that they're trying to um, protect uh, right. and get through and get him through a season because that's the ultimate goal. Um, it's not for him to be out on the field in May, you know what I'm saying, or early June. It's so that he's out on the field in September, October, November, yes. September. Um, right. So I, I wouldn't read too much into it. I think okay. it's more probably preventive maintenance type of thing uh, with him. Uh, I, I feel like if it, if it was something more serious uh, and something that was going to challenge him throughout the season or uh, potentially sabotage the season, I think we would have heard.